Today I'm going to be showing you a very gig-friendly bass amp from Trace Elliott called the ELF. It's 200 watt bass head, and I'm going to be demoing it with a 1x10 cabinet that takes up to 300 watts. Now this little 1.6 pound amp is feature packed. It has a 3 band EQ built right in, an XLR direct out so you can go right into a PA, and it's got headphones for when you want to play and don't want to disturb the family, or the neighbors, or whoever. Now the cabinet here it's a Eminence Neo speaker, and it only weighs 16 pounds, and it's got quite a bit of punch. It can handle up to 300 watts. With these two items, it's a very easy set to uh, bring into a gig, plug right into the PA, have your stage volume, and you're ready to rock and roll. I'm going to demo here with this Gibson ES Les Paul bass, and then I'm going to show you with some active pickups on a five-string bass on my Music Man Stingray. So let's take a look at some of the features on this ELF 200 watt amp. Taking a closer look here at the ELF, as I mentioned before, you've got the three band EQ, bass, mid, and treble. So let's go ahead and just play something here on the, the bass and you can hear it with the, uh, the bass and the treble at noon. All right, so now let's go ahead and just give you a little bit of a, we'll, we'll turn the uh, bass down there to about, I'd say about a nine o'clock. All right, let's move it up back to the, let's go about a th two o'clock position. All right, now let's go up uh, maybe around, eh, eh, about there. All right, let's put it back to the center here. Let's give you uh, uh, the mids. And let's go there at about three o'clock. Quite a bit punchier there. All right, now let's check out the treble. Let's go about nine o'clock there. All right, noon. All right, and then let's go to about three o'clock. So the next feature we're going to talk about is the gain knob here. The gain knob uh, will add grit to your sound. Uh, some might interpret it as a volume, but it's really not that. It's adding, as I said, some grit and gives this nice little dirty sound as you move it up. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna start here at the nine o'clock position. All right, now let's go to the noon position. You hear it add a little bit more of that dirt. And 
And I should mention that I am using the bridge pickup on this guitar here, and we'll go now to the three o'clock position, and this will give you almost full, full dirt. <laughs> Right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix between the uh, microphone, which is a Sennheiser E609, and then I'm going to go direct, and then I'll mix all three. So I'll just play a simple little riff here. So for the next test here, I broke out the uh, Stingray. Now this has got active pickups in it, um, and it's a five string. So we're just gonna play something real quick here so you can hear what it sounds like with this bass, and then I'll show you with the fifth string. Now let's listen to it using the fifth string on this bass. Uh, I'm going to do an accord combination first, and then we'll just do all the low, uh, low B. But first, I'm going to bump up the bass a little bit here, so you can really hear it. Lastly, I just want to show you some more aggressive playing with the bridge pickup and what that sounds like on this bass. <laughs> That was the cool 1.6 pound Trace Elliott Elf. Cool for gigging, great for plugging straight into the PA and playing at home. It's a cool sound little lamp. I recommend you check it out. I'm not a bass player. I'm a guitar player. And for you real bass players out there, I salute you. I hope I did some sort of justice to Zamp. I definitely recommend checking it out. You can't go wrong. It's not going to break your back going in. You're Guitar is probably your bass guitar is going to be a little bit heavier probably than this combo. So I recommend checking it out. If you enjoyed this video, click like, click subscribe, click the bell, click it all, get crazy, click to Selenium because it's awesome. You know it. You'll sleep better knowing you subscribe to me. We'll see you next time.
Uh, I'm going to do a chord combination at first, and then I'll just do a little bit all low note. Helps if I play the right chord. <laughs> 